opportunity to meet you and get to know you. And over this year and a few months to do that deeply with people who have been involved in the campaign and people who have come into the campaign. You are truly a beautiful, beautiful county and you are filled with the most beautiful people and it's my honor to speak before you tonight. Thank you so much. I am you. People, Mr. DiNapoli, I met him originally in uh, Cattaraugus County a year ago, August. I don't know of a state level politician who is more willing to come out to our districts and speak with us. Uh, he is beloved. And I'm going to try to keep my comments short because I want people to have an opportunity to, to hear you tonight. A uh, little story, I of course have been campaigning and I got talking with someone in a small restaurant somewhere in the middle of the 23rd district. <laughs> and the question came up, what party was I in? What party was she in? Well, she was a Republican and I thought, let's get off that uh, line of discussion and move on to something else. And so then I said, what do you do? And she said, I'm a school teacher. I said, how's your pension doing? She said, it's good, it's good. I said, there's a man running for comptroller in this state. It's a true story. And you have him to thank because New York State, I still believe, is number one in holding on to the pensions around yes. this state. It is more domestic and more secure than any place else. And you have Tom DiNapoli to thank you. Yes. We sat in Wildflower Cafe and, you know, if you ever have a chance to run for an office and you're the first time impression and you're trying to make it a good one, you couldn't meet with a nicer person than Carolyn. She always makes the conversation comfortable and she is most concerned about supporting the county and supporting the Democrats and I'm very grateful for all of your support and your friendship. Thank you. You know, there are other wonderful people, Brian and, and Mike and Stephanie's on our team now, and, and so thank you very much. You know Leslie Dakes Burke is here. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because as it should, your reputation has stood with all of us in this area, and we are so grateful for your citizenship and your service, and we know that will continue, and we're so happy to have that. I have some Yates County representation to recognize. Bob and Vail are here. I'm so grateful. Yates County, I and love, and I know together with Skyler and the other nine, we're going to do everything to really rock that vote. Um, just, if you would bear with me, two more people I want to recognize very quickly. Actually, it's three, but I'm already thinking of my son, Nico, and his fiance is one. <laughs> and in the extension program here in Schuyler County, so you, you may have seen that. And I want to say uh, a word about my partner, Vicki Everett, uh, not only because I could not be in this race without her, I couldn't be doing this uh, without her support and her love, but also because she has been your kindergarten teacher in Watkins Okay, we are engaged in a campaign that is going to wrap up in just over three weeks. What are we going to do about it? We're going to vote. We're going to vote. Yeah. We're going to get our friends out and we are going to rock it. Because indeed, this is an election that is not the same old, same old. I became involved in politics because I wanted to be sure that when my children have children and they ask me, what did you do in the age of Trump? I can say I stood up and did something. And I bet you want to 